I think we've seen some uh, setbacks over the last few years. <clears throat> the, uh, what we call the rules-based international system is under real pressure. Uh, we're moving towards a world in which power uh, and military might is determining the relationships between nations. And that means that the international institutions, the United Nations, the World Bank, the IMF, um, and uh, the world trading system are all coming under pressure because of uh, a reduced respect for that international order. And the, you know, one of the biggest problems of our time, undoubtedly, is climate change. And that is not getting the focus and the attention that it should do uh, because it's squeezed out by this rivalry between the great powers. Globalization has probably hit a peak for a number of reasons. Uh, uh, certainly since the financial crash of 10 years ago, uh, we've seen countries um, uh, be more, more uh, uh, reticent about opening up their financial vulnerabilities globally. But what I was saying this morning is that um, uh, the interdependence that a globalized world has created, including in defense technologies, means that uh, uh, both the United States and China are looking at uh, how they would function if in the worst case the two powers came into conflict with each other. And I think what we're seeing is a certain decoupling of the American and Chinese economies and a more nationalistic approach towards the control of, uh, control of technology, not just to prevent China buying up European or American or Japanese companies, but a certain wariness of losing our own national technological advantages uh, within the Western system. I think Europe has a particular role. Um, I think Europe has undoubtedly fallen behind in terms of not having global technology powers like the United States and China both have. Um, and our basic research and development has not been funded in the same way. We do some very good things in Europe, but not at a grand scale. I think where the European Union has come in, helpfully, has been on regulation. Regulation of data privacy through the GDPR, uh, and increasingly regulation of um, the taxation of global companies, which I think will become a global standard, despite Washington's opposition to it. Um, so there's a certain role here for Europe. Uh, we have to rely on our economic strength and our core values as an open society. Um, and in this context, Brexit isn't contributing very much, I'm afraid. Uh, but nonetheless, I think Europe as a whole um, does have an important role to play, but needs to become more assertive and invest more in technology itself.